My name is David Warren. I am president and CEO of Bridgeford Trust Company, and uh, we're here today to continue uh, a conversation that we've started uh, several videos ago about the importance of selecting the proper trust jurisdiction. And I'm excited to talk a little bit about a, a concept that has actually become pretty hot right now in the planning uh, world uh, in conjunction with being able to create directed trusts and, and do asset protection trusts. Um, the law has evolved in a way that allows uh, attorneys and accountants and, and trust professionals to actually examine old trusts and, uh, and be able to make changes and to modify uh, trusts in a way that were, was never available before. In the old days, and when I say old days, I mean 10 or 15 years ago, uh, we needed to go to court uh, to do a lot of these types of changes. And the concept that we're going to be talking about is called decanting. Now when I say decanting, I'm not talking about uh, decanting a bottle of wine and pouring it into a decanter, which uh, maybe a lot of you might be thinking when you hear that word. Um, but actually the concept is somewhat similar. Um, the idea of decanting is taking an old trust, a trust that was established maybe multiple generations ago or maybe just a generation ago, uh, that isn't really making uh, or serving its objectives anymore or, or serving the needs of the family. And it's, it's essentially taking this trust and pouring it into a brand new trust uh, with new dispositive provisions, um, perhaps new jurisdiction, and, uh, and more modern trust laws uh, that essentially make the trust more uh, applicable to today in modern times. And we're very excited to talk a little bit about how they work today and just how easy it is to take old trusts that might not be functioning the way we would like and modernize them. Now the reason why I want to talk about this today in the context of selecting a, the proper trust jurisdiction in the estate planning process is because decanting as a concept or as a law is not available uh, in, in most states. It's certainly not available in Pennsylvania um, and it's, uh, it's only available in fact in only 22 states uh, right now. Um, the first state to adopt a decanting statute was New York uh, probably about 15 or 18 years ago. And then states like Delaware and South Dakota and Nevada and other progressive law uh, states or progressive trust law states adopted a decanting statute uh, that allows us to, again, change trusts in a way uh, that make them more modern and uh, make them more applicable to today's standards. And just because a state has a decanting statute, uh, however, doesn't necessarily mean it's the best decanting statute available uh, to the practitioner. And that is to say that these decanting statutes are evaluated um, by practitioners and, and uh, and legal professionals and others, and they're, and they're compared to one another to determine which really is the best decanting statute in the country, much the same way as asset protection statutes are, are compared or trust jurisdiction states are compared generally. And what you're looking at here is a chart that compares uh, uh, these states that have decanting statutes, and as you see, it's a very objective approach to comparing uh, um, various aspects of a decanting statute. Um, South Dakota has been rated number one. Um, it's consistently number rated number one in terms of its flexibility and the ability to, to change, easily change these, uh, these types of, of trust using decanting. And, and it's an exciting way to, um, to be able to know which state is the best state to, to go to when looking to make changes to a trust. So we've talked about generally what is decanting and, and the fact that decanting is not available in all states. And then we talked about the fact that some states that even have decanting statutes are better than other states that also have similar statutes. Now the question is, when do you, or when should you be thinking about using uh, this concept of decanting? Um, and in many ways, we see it used uh, most often in just revitalizing old, and, and, and I'll use the word tired, trusts. Um, so for example, in, in, the, in the jurisdiction discussion, which uh, we talk about a lot here at Bridgeford Trust, we use decanting an awful lot to easily move a trust uh, from one jurisdiction to the other. Um, uh, the idea of, of being able to change jurisdiction is very, very important right now and it's a big hot topic and decanting is, is really the smoothest way to do that. And if you picture it like the bottle of wine analogy that we talked about before, you essentially create a new trust in a more favorable jurisdiction and you pour the assets of that trust into the new trust in the new jurisdiction. And it sounds like I'm making it overly simple, but in fact, that's actually how it works. And it has opened up a, a whole new world for planners to, to change 
uh, and, and modified trust because once you get a trust into a more favorable jurisdiction, that allows you then to, through modification and reformation, add all kinds of proverbial bells and whistles that may not be available in the jurisdiction that the trust currently resides in. Another area uh, where decanting is very important and is a, is a very powerful tool is to change trustees. Often older trusts do not uh, allow for uh, e the easy removal of a corporate trustee or an individual trustee. And then in the old days, again 10 or 15, 20 years ago, you'd have to go to court to do that. Uh, however, decanting uh, allows for a new trustee to be appointed through the decanting process. Uh, and that is an important, uh, again, an important tool for, for individuals who want to modernize these, these trusts that may not be functioning the way we'd like them to. Two other areas that, uh, that decanting allows for, or another way of saying it, two other ways that we can change a trust uh, through decanting uh, that I'm particularly passionate and excited about is the ability to take a, an older trust um, and turn it into an asset protection trust. Um, decanting allows us to do that. Um, so individuals who have established a trust years ago, settlers or grantors of trust, uh, perhaps even before uh, the creation of domestic asset protection trust, uh, who may now want to change that trust uh, and add asset protection components to it, can now do so quite easily by by this by virtue of this decanting uh, statute. And another aspect of that goes along with that is the idea of take, taking an existing trust and turning it into a directed trust. And as we've talked about in previous videos and, and written about extensively on our website, um, this idea of directed trust, which essentially bifurcates the liability between trust company and investment manager, opening the door for clients and settlers of trust to choose the investment manager that they want to work with. Um, that's a very revolutionary concept. And so the ability through decanting to change a trust to a directed trust is very compelling and something that we've done uh, uh, consistently here with Ed Bridgeford Trust Company and we're asked to do uh, by referral sources around the country. And again, decanting is the smoothest and the least expensive way to do so without involving the court. Another important aspect or another change that we can accomplish by virtue of the decanting statutes is to change the tax uh, posture of these trusts. So that is to say that we, through decanting, can trigger um, changes <coughs> to the grantor status or the grantor trust status of the trust, which has important uh, tax implications relative to how the trust is treated by the IRS. Um, so depending on which direction we want to go, through decanting we can uh, flip a switch, so to speak, often referred to as toggling by uh, those in the industry and attorneys that practice in this area. Uh, we can toggle and trigger certain aspects uh, that have very um, important tax implications. And again, all this can be handled through a decanting of the trust, pouring of one trust into a brand new one, and it can be done without court intervention, and it can be done very inexpensively and very efficiently. So decanting uh, really presents a powerful tool in the planning process to, uh, to radically alter uh, trusts in a way that makes them more um, applicable to modern day issues and concerns, more uh, reactive to modern day family issues, and more modern with respect to the ability to bring asset protection capability and, uh, and turn them into directed trusts, which uh, so many individuals and families are, are looking for. And it raises, though, an interesting question, and there has been a debate on this point, um, and it asks the question, um, are irrevocable trusts really irrevocable anymore in the context of the ability uh, to so easily change uh, these trusts? And while it is hotly debated among scholars as to whether or not decanting is a positive or negative development, the reality is it is nonetheless available as a planning tool that can be used in many, many positive ways to modernize trusts and make them more applicable to um, situations uh, that are um, of more concern to family members and settlers of trust today. So it's easy to understand why this is an important and exciting topic and, and development in, in the trust space around the country. Uh, at Bridgeford Trust Company, we have been involved with decanting uh, many uh, trusts from uh, various states, uh, moving trusts out of Pennsylvania into to more progressive trust jurisdiction. And it really has revolutionized the way that we approach uh, the trust world and gives so much more control back to settlers and their advisors and beneficiaries um, that just makes this whole industry so much more responsive uh, and, uh, and relevant, quite frankly, in the planning process. 
we would be happy at Bridgeford Trust Company to talk to you more about how decanting works, take a look at uh, trust that you may have and evaluate whether they're a, a good candidate to uh, consider decanting or moving to a more progressive uh, trust jurisdiction. So I encourage you to uh, check out our website uh, for more information not only about decanting but about modern trust laws generally, uh, the power of the South Dakota option in the planning process and uh, the flexibility and control that now can be brought to trust planning that just did not exist 15 or 20 years ago. Thank you for tuning in to this video and uh, look forward to talking to you in the future.